All right, this is third grade, module seven, lesson 19. And in this lesson, students are gonna continue using their multiplication facts to find a whole bunch of different rectangles given a certain number of area, you know, square units. And then they're gonna record those in a chart and then they're gonna record them in a line plot. We're kind of putting everything together in this lesson. So let's get started. All right, so the directions say to cut out the unit squares at the bottom of the page. Well, wait a second. We don't really need to use those unit squares because we know our times tables. And that's the whole point, our multiplication facts. And that's the whole point of this process has been to understand that when you have an area of a number of unit squares, in this case, let's say six, in order to find all the rectangles, all you have to do is think of your times tables, your multiplication facts. Now, parents and teachers, you might want to use these unit squares at the bottom of the page as scaffolding for your st uh, students who might be struggling with their times tables, but you don't have to use those. Let's just use our multiplication facts. So we're going to start with this one. We have six square units. And so what are the number of rectangles that we can create? Well, we can do a 1 by 6 because 1 times 6 is 6. We could do a 2 times 3 because 2 times 3 is 6, so 2 by 3 is 6. Can we do any others? No. I mean, technically, we, we, whoa. Technically, we could put like a 3 by 2 but we've already decided that that is the same thing as a two by three. So we don't need this extra one. That's just a repeat. So in this case, we made two rectangles. Let's take a look at the seven. So you have an area of seven square units. Well, we know we could do a one by seven because one times seven is seven. That's always the easy one. That's the easy one that I want our students to always be able to recognize. Can we come up with any others? Two times what equals seven? No. Three times what equals seven? So we're really having to think about our multiplication facts, and we're going to find out that, well, there's only one rectangle possible, and that's a one by seven. And we're going to keep going, and I'm going to pause this and fill in the rest of the chart so that we can move on to the rest of the uh, video. So now through the wonders of the technology that we have at our disposal, I've already filled in all the possibilities and you see that with eight square units there's two possible answers. With nine square units as your area there's two possible with 10, there's two possible, and with 11 square units, there's a one possible. So now that we have our data, and basically they want us to use the number two, one, two, 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 and one in our line plot. So let's do that. So we're gonna scroll down, and there is our line plot that we are going to be filling in. And so the idea is uh, we have our sizes down here. So we've got 6 to 11. So let's put in 7, 8, 9, 10. So 7, 8, 9, 10. Oh, and everything is binging and banging. Oh, my goodness. And then, so there's our sizes of the rectangles. And now we need to go up and we need to look. And we see that for six, we had two possible answers. So we're going to go down here and we're going to go one, two. And then for seven, we had one possible rectangle. So we're going to just go boom, like that. And then eight was two, nine was two, ten was two, and eleven was one. So we had eight had two rectangles, nine had two rectangles, ten had two rectangles, and eleven 
only had one rectangle. So now we've collected our data, we've stored it in a line plot. Now parents and teachers, your students are able to answer a whole host of questions about these uh, rectangles. One might be, I see that 7 and 11 are odd and they only have one answer. Are all odds only have one answer? Do they only have one answer? And the answer is no, because look, 9. 9 is odd, but it has two answers. So there's a whole host of ans uh, questions that your students can answer as a result of creating this line plot. And that wraps up third grade, module 7, lesson 19. Students are using a line plot to record a whole bunch of uh, data that they've created uh, basically based on how many rectangles can you create given that number of unit squares each time. And uh, just one last thing, please consider subscribing to my account, hey, my channel. Thank you.